Lesson 3, Drawings. Create a multi-sheet drawing of the part and assembly from Lessons 1 and 2. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to the basic concepts of a SOLIDWORKS drawing by creating this drawing. To create this drawing, we'll start with a tutorial template that has already been created for you. To tell SOLIDWORKS where this tutorial template is located, go to the Options, File, Locations, and make sure this path appears in the list. If it does not, select Add and add it to the list. Then click OK. Now to create our drawing, select New and select the Drawing Template on the Tutorial tab and click OK. A new drawing appears and the Model View Property Manager has been activated. Hit Cancel to close this Property Manager. Our drawing template includes a built-in sheet format. The sheet format contains information about the size of the sheet, and it is also a typical place to locate your title block and border. That way these items are stored on a separate layer, making them more difficult to accidentally edit. Let's make a change to the company name. Notice you cannot directly edit this text. In order to edit it, you'll have to edit the sheet format. Right-click anywhere in the drawing sheet and select Edit Sheet Format. Let's zoom to area on this region. Disable the zoom to area tool. And now, if you double click, you can type in your company name. We can also use the formatting bar to change the size and font. Once you're finished, click in the sheet, right click on the sheet, and select Edit Sheet. The text becomes uneditable once again. Zoom to fit. Next, we'll save our sheet format. Select File, Save Sheet Format. Typically, sheet formats are located here. The Program Data folder, however, is typically a hidden folder. So you may simply want to type this portion directly into your address bar and then proceed to browse from there. The tutorial suggests that we overwrite the existing A Landscape template. However, if you'd like to preserve this template, call your sheet format Tutorial and select Save. Next, we'll set a few drawing options. Select the Document Properties tab to set options that will be specific to this document. Under the Drafting Standard heading, click Annotations, and then select Font. We'll set the font of all annotations to be driven by points, and set this to 12, and click OK. Next, select Dimensions, and where it says Trailing Zeros, set this to Remove, and click OK. If you'd like those document properties to be used every time you create a new drawing, you should go to File, Save As, and save this drawing as a template. However, we'll cancel this for this tutorial. Next, we'll create a drawing of this part. To begin, open up the Tutor 1 part. We created this part in a previous tutorial. Next, we'll return to the drawing window. Select Model View, since Tutor 1 is selected, click on Next. Make sure Front View is selected and turn on Preview. Make sure Auto Start Projected View is enabled and Hidden Lines Removed is selected and set it to use a custom scale of 1 to 4. Move the pointer in the graphics area and click to place the view somewhere about here. Move your cursor straight up and click to the right and click OK. You can drag the views by grabbing the border. Try this now. Next, we can import items such as dimensions from the model. On the Annotation tab, select Model Items. Under Source, select Entire Model and turn on Import Items into All Views. Make sure Marked for Drawing is turned on and Eliminate Duplicates is selected and click OK. The units on your drawing sheet may not match the one shown in the tutorial. If they do not match, change the units by selecting the Unit Selector in the Status Bar and select MMGS. Then you may drag dimensions around to reposition them.
Once you are finished, select Save, and if you see this message, select Save All, and save your drawing as Tutor 1. Using these model items, we can make changes directly to the part. Double click on the 25 dimension, key in 40, and hit Enter, and click on Rebuild. Save your drawing once again, and select Save All. Next, if we go back to the part, you'll see that the parts dimensions have now changed. Now we'll open the Tutor assembly. Browse to where you saved this assembly from the last tutorial and open it. And select Rebuild. And also, we can check that same dimension. Save the change into the assembly and return to the drawing window. Now we'll add an additional sheet to our drawing and put the assembly on it. One way to add a new sheet is to select this Add Sheet button. If you get this message, click OK and select our Tutorial Sheet Format and click OK. Select Standard 3 View on the View Layout tab. Make sure the Tutor Assembly is selected and click OK. Reposition the views if needed. Now we'll insert this isometric view. Click on Model View. Once again, make sure Tutor is selected, then click Next. Select Isometric. Select Shaded with Edges. And under Scale, make sure it says Use Sheet Scale. And click somewhere right around here. And click OK. If you'd like to print your work, Select File, Print, select All Sheets, under Page Setup, select Scale to Fit, and click OK, and click OK again to print the document. This is how your print should look. Save the drawing, and close it. That completes this tutorial. Thank you.